Hi there, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta here with you today. It is currently the 2nd of August, 2014. As you can see here on this imagery, we have not one but two circulations out there in the western Pacific. We have Tropical Storm Nakri off here towards the north, which is continuing uh, to bring these very gusty winds. Typhoon warnings have been posted around Jeju-do and southwestern portions of South Korea. Not saying that there is going to be typhoon strength winds, but KMA has thought of it pertinent enough to put it out there and say that there is going to be that possibility of some damaging weather. Meanwhile, western portions of Japan still experiencing pr pretty nasty conditions with Nakri as it pulls off there. But as shown in the title of this update, we are going to be talking about Typhoon Halong, which is pulling up here towards the west. You remember last week, uh, back on Wednesday, actually this past week, this moved over Guam, brought some nasty weather with it, also from pretty damaging winds. That was as a much, much weaker storm system because now it looks like this storm has rapidly intensified here on Saturday up to a typhoon status. Category 3 according to the last warning from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. The Japan Meteorological Agency keeps it a little bit weaker about the Category 1 to Category 2 equivalent of a storm system but if we take a look at the Dvorak estimates here, 6.7 return on the CI number, pressure down to 930 millibar millibars and um, wind it's estimated to be about 132 knots. By the way, when we're talking about intensity of a storm system out over open ocean, these are the numbers we use. You use the satellite estimate on this using the Dvorak intensity. And you get these T numbers that come out. And that right now, it looks like most of them are 6.7. So uh, you don't have hurricane hunters out here in the Western Pacific. This is how you get the intensity. And right now, it is showing this storm system, how long, flirting with typhoon or super typhoon intensity if you're going off the scale that says super typhoons are at 240 kilometers per hour according to china this would already be a super typhoon though if you were going off their intensity scale so where is it going to be headed regardless of what storm what scale it is right now where is this going to be headed well good news right now it is currently a fish storm this is out over the western pacific it's very pretty to look at i mean and what i mean by fish storm only the fish are really being impacted some people in the app are probably seeing outflow same thing down there towards palau but at least over the next 24 hours it's just the high waves cascading out from the center of circulation of this well rapidly intensifying storm system as we look ahead through the next several days it is expected to track off here here towards the north and then towards the well basically northwest or excuse me northwest and then eventually towards the north you see Nakri here and you have that flow following in behind it it's the same background flow that we had when Nakri pushed through we have the high pressure ridge off here towards the east so our storm system is going to flow around the western periphery of that and off here towards the north now some of the models they differ by the time it gets to Okinawa right now we have a pretty good consensus not not just with models but the overall background flow is this storm system is going to move west and then off there towards the north i know looking at satellite picture this looks pretty ominous if you are out are out here into the philippines i know it looks like hey this one could actually push off into your direction that's probably not going to be the case to be honest with you um actually pretty high confidence that's not going to be the case what we're going to be seeing over the course of the next 24 hours is how long starting the track off to that northwesterly projection moving away from the philippines remember and then eventually pushing towards the southern japanese islands right now we have a pretty good consensus on that happening it is pushing off there towards the north and towards the southern japanese islands five i would say about three to four days three days it's not moving that fast three day forecast right now it seems pretty confident that's where we're going to be seeing the storm system right in this area just towards southeast of okinawa beyond that though from a meteorology standpoint i i honestly I'm guessing, basically, an educated guess, of course, but the bets are going to be put in on where exactly this is going to be going because models split beyond that. We could see this skirt along the southern Japanese islands and pull off here towards the northeast, and it does look like more models are leaning towards that final conclusion or actually some of them pull it just towards the south of Okinawa and towards China. Big thing that could come into play here is Nakri pushing off towards the north and the high over China ridging in and blocking it. 
and possibly keeping it buffered towards the south. So we have to get rid of this storm system, and this high right here would have to come in towards the east to allow this storm system to get stopped and pull off there towards the west. That would allow a storm to hit Okinawa directly. But right now it looks more so like this is going to follow in behind this and is very well could hit basically around the Kyushu area, Shikoku, or possibly off there towards mainland Japan. Honestly, at this point, as I said, it's an educated guess. We're going to continue to watch this storm system. For the southern Japanese islands, at least by midweek next week, this is going to be pushing close by. And you're going to be seeing some scattered showers, definitely the high waves and the high winds. How strong is it going to be typhoon intensity? Is your flight going to be canceled? Can you do outdoor plans at this point? Um, how about we wait a few more days and see exactly where this is going to be going. But right now, as I mentioned, Japan Meteorological Agency does push it off there towards the northwest, towards the Amami Islands. Um, JTWC keeps a little bit closer with that nav gem output, pushing out closer towards Okinawa. I think um, my personal thoughts... Based on everything I'm seeing right now, the model outlooks, the streamlined analysis, the overall background flow, and uh, just basically historical what, what you see with this type of situation set up, I think that the Amami Islands or southern portions of Kagoshima uh, could be hit with some of these outer rain bands in Okinawa. Now, if that ridge builds in or that trough weakens more, it's going to be farther towards the west and vice versa. Look at the size of your cone of air. I mean, you have it all the way out here towards Taiwan from the JTWC, that is. And the other side, it's moving out towards mainland Japan. And same thing with JMA. I mean, you got a pretty, pretty large cone of air on this storm system extending out through all of Okinawa and then extending out through Kagoshima and southern portions of uh, Kyushu. So that is what we're looking at right now, guys. It's a strong storm system at the very least. Um, as I mentioned before, it, it's definitely one of these typhoons. Take a snapshot of it and uh, post it up on your refrigerator because this is a pretty uh, beautiful storm system. Good news, it's out over the open ocean right now. Pretty well-defined eye on it. Bad news, it is going to be headed somewhere eventually. This one isn't just going to stay out over open ocean. Somebody's going to be impacted by this eventually. All right, stay safe out there.